your opponent broke dry and this is what you're stepping up to. This is what you have. Do you see the running? And don't forget you have a pause button here. So if you need it, you... If your answer was, no, not really, or I see the first part of it, or I see some of it, or I have a rough idea, um, pause the video and put your brain to it and think and try to see the run out on all nine balls. Now, if you're shying away from it and you already want to turn this video off and go find another video, I understand. I really do. But you're going to have to understand yourself that you're never going to be a top shelf pool player until you start seeing this whole pattern. And does it help you out a little bit if I draw the lines or does this make it even more complicated and difficult? Now, it's okay if this confused you even more, but you're going to have to stick with it. I'm asking you to just stick with it and bear with me for a little while. These lines represent nothing more than the straight-in shot and the line you have to be on if you either want to roll the ball forward or bring it back to you. That's all you can do when you're straight-in. You can draw it back, you can stop it, or you can go forward. So most of the time, unless you're talking about the nine ball, you don't want to be straight in on the shot. You either want to be on the left-hand side of those lines or the right-hand side of these lines. It's kind of rare to be straight in or to want to be straight in. So keep looking at it and keep thinking about it just for now. And if I do this, does that confuse you even more? And are you ready to throw in the towel and say, no, I can't do this? All of these ovals represent places you want to be relative to that straight in line, whether it's the right side of the line or the left side of the line. That's where you want to be on that particular shot. So if you're still insisting on, on making excuses and, and, and you're about to say, look, I don't have, you know, I'm not going to make my opponent sit in his chair and for a half hour watching me study this table, so no. I want you to know that a trained pool player can see this almost in a blink of an eye. They'll have to take, you know, a couple second looks at certain lines and where they want to be, but it doesn't take a half hour. It doesn't take almost any time at all once you practice using your brain and thinking. If you want to be a great pool player, you're going to have to get your brain working. So now you're thinking, well, I just play pool just for fun, and that's fine. This is for advanced players. Um, if this kind of video is not for you, that it's okay. Go out and have some fun and all, but don't expect to be a great pool player. And if you watch these pros playing on YouTube and you don't think they're thinking, I can tell you you're very, very wrong. Their minds are going 100 miles an hour to see this and, and to actually execute this. Great pool is not about shot making. It's about thinking and understanding these lines and knowing where you need to be relative to those lines to make this game as simple and easy as humanly possible. And what might look complicated with your eyes right now is only looking that way because your brain is not all in it. This is not complicated at all. And I'm going to show you why right here. And I'm going to show you one shot at a time. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, let's uh, loop that back and do it right. Yeah, I saw him.
Yeah, yeah, right, there wasn't a single difficult shot in that. They were all simple, all easy, all natural. And if you can't start saying this and and feeling it and believing it and doing it and thinking it, then there's really nothing more I can do, man. This is it. This is everything. The only thing stopping you, if you can make these simple ass shots, the only thing stopping you from being a top shelf pro pool player is your own lazy ass brain. Sorry if that's harsh, but it's the way it is. Okay, let me ask you something. Do you see the run out now? If you said yes, do you still see it now? And if you said yes both times, can you still see the run out now? See, I don't, I don't know what your answer is. You're going to have to tell me in the comments. And don't forget to click thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. Don't forget to share. Uh, here's a random run out that I had laying around. I don't really know what to do with so peace everybody. Thank you for watching. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your support.